Hi guys, everybody has been uh, asking me how the market has been doing and when's it coming back. When you actually look at the market over the last five years, um, we're actually in a great time right now. We've never had higher prices. Take away last year's, I call the Brex moment or the speculation moment, and we've never been at a higher price in a whole. Now, if we actually take the real estate market, um, some interesting numbers to look at are months of inventory. And what months of inventory are, if you take how many listings are available versus how many have sold in the last 30 days, gives you how many months of inventory it would take to sell everything out based on the demand. When you look at the months of inventory, you're also looking at certain numbers. Zero to four months, they say, is a seller's market. Four to six months is an equilibrium market and above six months is a buyer market. So let's look at the Toronto Real Estate Board as a whole. Now this would include everything from Mississauga to Durham to Toronto, the whole market as a whole. And you can see in January started off with sales of 4,000 and by June we picked up and went all the way up to 8,000 through the spring market. The active listings as you can read through started off at 11,000 now we're up to 20,000 listings. But the big thing to tell you how much demand's out there and where prices are going is months of inventory. We started off in January at 2.96, then February went to 258. Our peak was in March, which was 2.21. And now as the inventory climbs, we're seeing the months of inventory go up and we're sitting around 2.58. So when people say it's a bad market, that is an excellent market as far as we are still in a seller's market. And you can see that by price. Average price is started off at 736. And now we're floating around 804 in April, 805 in May, and 807. So we're starting to see as the months of inventory go up, we're, we're seeing an equilibrium of a plateau on price compared. Days in the market start off at 32. And right now we're sitting at 20. Now, if we start looking more, let's compare that to a micro market a bit more. We'll look at more of Durham. When you look at our sales, we started off at 470 in January, 604. Now we're up to 918. The active listings have climbed, same as overall on the board, starting off at 1177. And in May now, we're at 2283. And in June, at 2303. Which reflects the months of inventory. We start off at 2.5 in January. We drop to our peaks of 2.29, 1.96, 2.06. That's where you saw the prices rise, the low months of inventory, compared to as we're starting to float up to 2.6 and 2.5 near the end of the year, we're starting to hit an equilibrium. You know, April, we're at 6.09, average price 5.97 and 6.10. So we are in a great market still. And the bigger thing you want to look at if you're trying to price a home and seeing where the market's going is we can actually get into smaller markets on there. So let's just go into a micro market again, a Toronto real estate board. And the interesting part is if you look at months of inventory for detached homes, it's at 3.48. That's telling me the lower homes and detached homes in Toronto will probably have some multiple offers and as you get into the higher priced homes you're probably going to see a bit more of them take a slower approach to the market with some possibly price reductions when you break down those numbers. Compared to if you look at the in Toronto semi-detached condo, condo apartment, attached townhouse, they're all under 2.3 and 1.5, 1.88 months of inventory. You, you are probably seeing in those markets multiple offers, which we are. Now let's look at Durham as a whole for months of inventory. Detach is f sitting around 2.82. So we're still in a pretty good market there. As you go higher in price again, you're going to see those months of inventory rise is what we've been seeing. Our lower stuff, our semi-detached, our condo towns, all those, we are seeing multiple offers. Our team was in two of them just on the weekend in that price range which is a good sign of that market, okay? A lot of people are saying we're down from last year. We also have, I'll do it for Durham, for example. Last year in June, 
We had sales of 997. This year we're at 918, so a little bit lower. Our active listings are just slightly higher, which has increased that months of inventory from 2.22 to 2.51, which caused a little bit of a drop in price of 5,000, but still relatively an excellent market. Now keep in mind, changes in the market also create opportunity. By watching these numbers, we're able to help our buyers and sellers determine where is a great price and opportunity to move. For example, right now we're telling a lot of our buy-up buyers, this is a great time. Semis are getting great prices. Some of the higher end homes, if you're moving up, have come down a little bit. Great opportunity to buy up. Please feel free to contact my team if you want to know more about micro markets because when we do come out and see you, we actually break it down into smaller markets to see where your opportunity is right now.